Welcome to my SU News Channel. Joran van der Sloot to reveal details of Natalie Holloway's death, lawyer. Joran van der Sloot, the prime suspect in the disappearance of Natalie Holloway, is expected to take a plea deal after being charged in an extortion plot involving the Holloway family. Natalie Holloway was 18 years old when she took a senior trip to Aruba in May 2005 with Mountain Brook High School. Natalie Holloway was last seen leaving a bar with van der Sloot, but she was never found. In January 2012, a judge legally declared Natalie Holloway dead after a request from her father. Van der Sloot is facing charges of extortion and wire fraud in the U.S. after allegedly attempting to sell Beth Holloway, Natalie's mother, information about the location of her daughter's body. Beth Holloway's lawyer, John Q. Kelly now tells Fox News Digital that Van der Sloot is expected to take a plea deal, which is conditioned on him releasing details on how Natalie Holloway died and what happened to her body. The lawyer also told Fox News Digital that the search for Natalie Holloway's body is over. It, the plea agreement, was conditioned upon Mr. Van der Sloot revealing details of how Natalie died and how her body was disposed of, Kelly first told today. A plea and sentencing hearing is scheduled for Van der Sloot on Wednesday at 9.30 a.m. in a Birmingham, Alabama, federal courtroom. According to federal prosecutors, Van der Sloot tried to extort the family for $250,000 to $25,000 upfront for the information and the rest to be paid once Natalie Holloway's body was positively identified. However, Van der Sloot lied to Beth Holloway about where her daughter's remains were located, according to U.S. prosecutors. The alleged extortion scheme took place between March 29, 2010, and May 17, 2010. He pleaded not guilty to the charges after a June hearing when he was temporarily transferred from Peru to the United States. Beth Holloway is expected to give a statement following Wednesday's hearing. Van der Sloot then traveled to Peru and met Stephanie Flores, 21, at a Lima casino owned by her father. Van der Sloot admitted to killing Flores, saying he murdered her on May 30, 2010, in a fit of anger after the 21-year-old found out he was connected to Natalie Holloway's disappearance. The charges were filed by federal prosecutors in 2010, but Peruvian officials didn't agree to release Van der Sloot into American custody until May this year. He was originally sentenced to 28 years in prison for killing Flores, but more time was added because of a drug smuggling scandal in which he was involved while behind bars. Source, nypost.com. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.